Hello everybody and welcome to your first diehero.net tutorial. I'm Rob and I'll be guiding you through this. We're going to learn today HTML and I know it's at the bottom rung of the web page language ladder but it's good to know for everybody. So we're going to go into Notepad or Notepad++. You can choose which one you want. Most people have Notepad on there. So I'm going to explain a few things right here. This is the basic HTML document. Um, when I'm hovering over, you have to have on every single HTML page, and the variation on this can change, but just for now, just, just write that. And as you can see at the bottom, we have the HTML, um, which ends this thing. You have to include that too, so just copy both those down whenever you do a web page. And there's the head right there. We'll talk about the head in future lessons, but for right now, basically what it is, is it just has um, information that won't be in the body of the web page. So as you can see the head has a closing tag too. Basically what a closing tag I showed you with the HTML it's the same thing. Um, you know if you're used to C++ it's the same thing as the semicolon. Well it's not the same thing but it's similar. Um, but moving on this is the title um, and it's the title of your web page what appears on top and as you can see it has the, um, the end title too which you have to include and make sure right now to save it and save it whatever you want but make sure that you put .html after whatever name um, you put example .html or otherwise it won't work when you open it later so let's save that right now and let's get back to this now we already went over the title so uh, let's move on to the meta basically what meta names are is um, I'm not sure exactly if they're still included um, in, you know, in reference to like search engines and stuff, but don't concern yourself with this now. I, I found that mostly it's the page content that shows up on the search engines rather than the meta, but just include it if you want, just to be safe. Um, and of course the end head there. And so now we're getting into the body of the HTML document. And as you can see, the style, you want the background color, uh, that 000, that's black. And there's another way to do this, I won't get into it now, but um, as you can see what I'm clicking on now, it's the paragraph heading, and that just, that's just to separate what you write, actually. And here, this is your first link, uh, ahref, followed by that, and you have to make sure to put the a at the bottom, um, too, as you can see that I highlighted. And that's my webpage, diehero.net, I hope you visit it. Um, but we're going to refer to that, and I'll show you how it works when we open this back up. And below that, the A is the font, which I just clicked on. That's white. Um, size is 3. That's just what's going to show up um, on the page. And you have to do the slash font, too. Um, and then as you can see, the slash A, slash P, that's just the uh, grammar for us. And then you end the body there, and followed by the HTML, which I mentioned earlier. So let's save this again. Let's exit out of it, and okay, we're going to open it up right now, example.html, just click on it, just to get a feel for it, it's not going to be online, but you can see, as you can see our link is there, the white font doesn't matter because it's a link, but as, it's, as you see I just clicked on the link, it goes to my website. Uh, which you guys should all go on. I'm going to put a lot more content on there. Um, clear some things up if you're confused. But I'd just like to thank everybody for listening. This is uh, Rob from DieHero.net. I hope you stop by. There's going to be so much more to this. But just for people who need to see this again, um, I'll just leave it up here. You can freeze it uh, on YouTube. You're going to freeze the video so you can write all of it down. Of course, your web page is going to be different. And later on, I'm going to show you how to actually put your web page up, how to actually do it um, and sign up for it, if you want to get more into this. Um, HTML is great just to learn for your office whenever your boss wants you to do something or, you know, you want to show somebody you have extra skills. So I, I know that um, a lot of you aren't going to actually make web pages, but this is just a good skill to have in general. And on my website, diahero.net, we have a lot more tutorials coming up. June is going to be a big month, so I'd like to see all of you on it. Thanks a lot.